Today we're here to do a side turning for the future Canadian Airborne Memorial Cairn. This is being erected and built in the Perron Berger Park. The background of this park goes back to 2006 when originally the State Seminary of Griesbach Village was dedicated to the airborne areas, streets named after famous people and so on. At that time this park was not finished, but the name was allocated to this area. Subsequently to the completion of the park, it was decided that we would then build and dedicate a memorial in this area. The park itself was named after the two soldiers that were killed in Cyprus in 1974, and originally we had thought about naming the monument to them. However, under the terms of National Monument Memorial Support from Veterans Affairs, monuments cannot be named to an individual. Therefore. We changed it and we're happy we did because now it's going to become a national monument and it's a Canadian Airborne Memorial Cairn. I'm uh, the Member of Parliament for Edmonton St. Albert and we are in the Edmonton St. Albert constituency to dedicate this park through a groundbreaking ceremony to honour the Airborne Regiment generally but specifically two airmen uh, who gave their lives in Cyprus. Uh, uh, Perron and Berger, uh, dedicated, dedicated Canadian military men and this is a fitting tribute both to their legacy and the legacy to the Airborne generally. But it's important that we recognize the past and the contribution of all of the services uh, in all of the conflicts that, that they've been involved in because it's through their dedication, through their service and ultimately through their sacrifice that Canadians live in the most prosperous, most democratic and, and freest country on earth and uh, we, we owe a, a debt of gratitude to all uh, servicemen and women who have, have served their country so proudly and especially to those who have paid with the ultimate sacrifice with their life. This park, Grand Berger Park, is named in honour of all members of the Canadian Airborne Regiment who served on the UN mission in Cyprus. Well, our missions now in the United Nations force are in, in a large way have, have, have ceased. But it's important we remember that because it went on for a long time and Canada had the reputation of being one of the strongest supporters within the United Nations missions. Cyprus, of course, was one of our, our biggest. And Cyprus also was one where we lost, over the years, a number of personnel. I believe it was somewhere in the name of 28, 28 Canadian soldiers died in Cyprus. The freedom and the democracy that we enjoy here in Canada is um, something you earn. It's always a tension between that and um, something less, right? And Canada is very fortunate not just to be able to defend freedom, but to export and expand that concept of freedom both here and around the world. So people look to us as an example, and the people who up uphold that example are uh, people who serve in our armed forces. I do those in memory of all who serve the armed forces. and the public please informally move to where the shovels are placed. And the The reality is the memories and, and the veteran aspect goes back to the First World War. Uh, we just remember it, and it's important that that is carried on to the children today. I think it's, it's something that should be into the curriculums of the schools. Our own history is important. World history is important, but our history is important. And we don't do enough of this when we think of the sacrifices that were given by so many uh, from the First World War, fighting between the Second World War, Turkey, Korea, and Greek to all the various conflicts and the United Nations the support the uh, ceasefire zone uh, missions and much of northern throughout the world. We had soldiers die uh, in many places, not always in conflict. We had soldiers, many, many people died in Germany. We have many Canadian soldiers that are buried in France, and airmen, and so on. So, yeah, it's important to remember. I wish each and every one of you well.
and the satisfaction that those of us have gained through service to Queen and Country. Carry on, please. Sir. Go to the left in threes. Left! Turn! Quick! March! Come on! Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. 